pregnancy complications. Sickle cell anemia can increase the chances of high blood pressure and blood clots during pregnancy. It also can increase the chances of miscarriage, premature birth and having low birth weight newborns. Is sickle cell a disability? Yes, sickle cell disease is often considered a disability under the law, specifically the Equality Act 2010 in the UK. This is because the signs and complications of sickle cell disease, such as pain, fatigue, plus the limitations on physical activity, can substantially and negatively impact a person's ability to perform normal daily activities. Here's why. The definition of disability. The Equality Act 2010 defines a disability as a physical or mental impairment that has a substantial and long-term adverse effect on a person's ability to carry out normal day-to-day -day activities. The impact of sickle cell disease. The chronic pain, fatigue and other complications associated with SCD can significantly affect a person's ability to work, participate in social activities and perform everyday tasks. Legal protection. This means that individuals with SCD are often entitled to legal protection and reasonable accommodations in various settings, including employment and education. Examples of impact. For example, a person with SCD might need to take frequent breaks at work due to pain or fatigue or require adjustments to their work schedule to accommodate medical appointments. Not considered automatically disabled. It's important to note that a diagnosis of SCD doesn't automatically mean someone is disabled under the law. The extent of the impact on daily life is a key factor in determining disability status. A hidden disability. Sickle cell disease is also considered a hidden disability as the effects can vary greatly from person to person and some individuals may appear healthy between episodes of pain and other complications. 